most important today, I am excited to tell you, well, I want you guys, I want all my subscribers to join me with Harvest Army. Harvest Army, many of you know, if you've been following me, you know that I am subscribed to Harvest Army. It is a church that is based out of New York. Uh, a lot of members there have been given the gift of prophecy. And um, the Bible says, despise not prophesying. Now, I know there are a lot of false prophets out there, but trust me, you know, okay, if you don't trust me, pray about it by all means, but please seek the video out about what I'm going to talk about today um, because they have had a recent prophecy that has went out a recent revelation from the Lord that the Lord is calling on all Christians, all saints, all believers to go out outside of your four walls and preach the gospel. Okay? Now, many of you may be saying, well, I'm not a preacher. I'm not an ordained preacher. Let me tell you something. You do not have to be ordained to spread the news of the gospel. And let me just tell you a little bit about it. Okay, July 5th, is, this is going to be, the World Vision Day is on July 5th, 2014 at 12 noon. This, you will be doing this for an entire one hour, okay? One hour. And is this day, this World Vision Day, will be like the day of Pentecost. There will be an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Uh, remember at the day of Pentecost, there was an outpouring of uh, speaking in tongues. This time, July 5th at 12 noon, there will be an outpouring of the gift of prophecy. What uh, you will be preaching and ministering about is you'll be preaching Jesus coming, Jesus soon return, the signs worldwide. This will happen worldwide. They are calling on all Christians, all saints, all believers. Okay? You will be street. You can go out in the streets. You can go out in parks. You can go out in the highways, the byways, wherever you, the Holy Spirit leads you to do. It is very important. You guys do not want to miss out on this. Best believe I will be out there. Um, again, there will be an outpouring of the gift of prophecy, outpouring of the Holy Spirit, like I said, like the day of Pentecost. There will be a supernatural outpouring, a supernatural outpouring of the Holy Spirit. You will also supernaturally prophesy about the things that is coming up on the earth okay now you will also be witnessing praying prophesying and ministering okay um you will you can pass out tracts um of how to accept christ and how to be saved you will be leading unbelievers to christ basically you wouldn't have to meditate on what you're going to say. Just do know what the topic is. Jesus coming back. Jesus soon return, of course. And the signs of the time. Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Okay? The signs of the times. But like I said, you will not have to meditate on what you will have to say. Just do and trust and believe in the Lord and the Holy Spirit will pour out into you. Guys, I'm excited. I don't know about you, but I am so excited. I have uh, mentioned it to a couple of my co-workers who will also be out there with me. I am planning to go where I live. Is it downtown? Um, on the boardwalk. Where I know a lot of people will be. The day after 4th of July, tons and tons of people. Now, please tell me you won't be afraid. Please tell me, because I know some of you thinking, I'm not an ordained preacher. 
You don't have to be ordained. All you have to do is have a heart for God. And look, we are the Ecclesia. We are the called out ones. That's what Ecclesia means. We are the called out ones. We are ambassadors for Christ. In a few minutes, I'm going to give you scripture and show you. You don't have to be ordained to do this. And especially if there's going to be a supernatural pouring out of the Holy Spirit. Come on now. It reminds me of Mary Mary's song. I need just a little more Jesus. Do you need just a little more Jesus? The world needs just a little more Jesus. To help us along the way. Oh, come on now, people. We can use a little more Jesus. You do not have to be afraid. You do not have to be ashamed. Remember what the scripture says. If you be ashamed before him, he will be ashamed before you. Now I'm sure you don't want to have to do that. He is calling on us. Will you be used? I want to be used. I'm going to be out there. I hope you guys will be out there. I wanted to share this information with you to all my subscribers and definitely hope and pray that you guys can get more and more people, spread the word, and get out there and street preach. Street preach. Now, with that said, let me give you a little more information. And I'm going to give you the videos that you can watch yourself of Harvest Army, okay? Um, you, after you do this, you are to send your pictures, your videos, and upload them and send them to harvestarmy.org, okay, that's in New York City. If, uh, to get registered, if you have any questions, you call 718-696-2769 or 718-881-7920. Or you can register at www.harvestarmy.org, okay? If you want to watch the video of them giving you more input and more inform information, their um, pastor, man, powerful message that he delivered when the Lord spoke, spoke to him about this, you guys need to hear it. I'm going to give you three of the videos to watch, okay? Okay. Um, the first video is titled July 5th at noon, prepare, exclamation mark. The second video from Harvest Army, whole earth explodes, July 5th, prepare. Now let's explode with the Holy Spirit, the pouring out. Mm, don't miss it. The third video, whole earth shakes, July 5th, 2014, prepare, okay? Whatever it is. You are led to do. Do it. Print you some stuff offline. Make sure it lines up with the word of God on how to, you know, spread the gospel and get people saved because that is what it is all about. Now, let me read a few of these scriptures. Turn your Bible to Mark chapter 16. Oh, you didn't forget your Bible, did you? You know not to come to this channel without your Bible. Mark chapter 16 verse 15 and he said unto them go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature okay let's turn right on back over to matthew chapter 24 verses 14 it reads and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then the end shall come also, turn your Bibles to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses, um, I'm sorry, yeah, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 14 through 15, all right. What is it? 14 through 15, verse 14. Whereunto he called you by our gospel to the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 15. Therefore, brethren, 
Stand fast and hold the traditions which ye have been taught, whether by word or our epistle. Okay? Now, turn over to Romans, one of my favorite chapters. Nikki, you have a lot of favorite chapters. <laughs> yep. Okay, Romans chapter 10, verses 13 through 15. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. 14. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? They need you, people. Verse 15. And how shall they preach except they be sent? We, the ecclesia, are called out. God has called us out. Be there and prepare. You, the ecclesia, are the sent one. You are the called out one. Okay? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 World Vision Day, July 5th, 2014, 12 noon. You will do this for one complete hour. Upload your videos and pictures and man, just be ready. Be ready to feel, be filled with the Holy Spirit, to be given the gift of prophecy to man. Preaching the word of God to to people. Listen, when I mentioned this around my daughters, the first thing they said was, um, "Mom, what if what if nobody wants to listen to you?" Well, I hold on to faith. That's what my shirt says here. If he told me to go out. I'm sure he will be coming in. I'm sure he will have people there. I I just know. Somebody going to listen. Somebody is going to hear it. Oh, yeah. Somebody's going to hear it. And um, this is funny right here. This is so funny. I mentioned it to my husband. And he said, you can't do that. You can't go out and do that. You don't have, a, you got to have a solicitor's license. I said, um, honey, I'm not trying to S-A-L-E, Jesus. I'm trying to S-E-L-L, Jesus. I'm not trying to, Jesus ain't up for sale. Okay? Now, I know you guys is going to do this with me. Let's pray. Let's join together. Let's get out in the streets, the highways and the byways and preach the true manifested word of God. What you will be preaching about in times, the signs of the end times and Jesus soon return. Amen. We'll see you guys on July 5th. Watch out for my video tomorrow. Amen. See you guys tomorrow. Thanks.